try to image, you wanna work fast, but Revit cannot help you, even Dynama cannot solve your problem, so you will find some extension. And today we will be speak about one of that extension, this is PyRevit, Python and Revit together, this is really nice thing. Let's start. So first we will go to the blog, uh, the link you will find below this video, and you should download installer. So just click on this button and save uh, where you want. I already have the installer, it's here. So let's uh, let's install it. I already installed this program, so uh, I just show you what you should uh, what you should do. Just accept this agreement and for all users, blah blah blah. Uh, suggested, mm, I recommend it. And install, that's it. Just view a few seconds and that's it. Uh, you can uh, open Revit or you can close, up to you. Uh, I will show you what, what's gonna happen when you will when you switch on the Revit. Uh, when you first time will switch on the Revit, they will ask you like uh, load the uh, extension extension. So it will be ask you every time when you will uh, open the Revit. Had this extension, just few second he he loading everything. Yeah, great for second only. Let's open our project and as you see the Py Revit already here. So let's use it. Okay, now let's go and open some simple project as usual and let's try some function. Uh, first, I'll go to the um, level one. For example, I have here the some walls. Let's choose these walls. Uh, let's make the section box. Uh, so I, I cannot see my section box because it's here. Uh, unhide and here is my section box uh, for example sometimes the building it's not straight it's on the angle and uh, it's not so useful like this for example and it's not so useless to rotate manually so what can do by Revit uh, for example orient by section box by face and choose the face done it's a really powerful thing, because when you have the uh, not straight building, not not the cube building, it's a really powerful thing. Uh, let's see the other things. Now let's talk about the pattern. As you see in this project, here have the some patterns, but big problem in Revit, this about the patterns, about the custom patterns. Uh, if you're working, you know that. Uh, let's see what can do Revit. Let's go, for example, to uh, annotate and detail line, and let's draw some cube, and let's make some pattern inside. Maybe like this, maybe like this, maybe even like this. Let's make the fast. Sorry, guys, I just want to show how it's work maybe like this and maybe some even the cycle here and here okay done so let's go again to PyRevit and here make pattern oh I, I did wrong first oh first we need select the our mm, uh, future pattern after that uh, make pattern now this uh, create pattern active let's make it like one one and wanna like create the name and detail pattern. Okay, let's create it. The one and second. It's created. So how to get we created that or no? Just additional set settings, fill pattern. Here we are. As you see, this is our amazing pattern. Let's try to apply, for example, uh, for example, even here. Okay, let's choose our floor, for example, like this, filter, I'm doing everything fast because it's only 5 minutes, uh, floor, 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 here, floor, edit, structure, 
and material and let's change the pattern to this one this is the first surface and okay apply it okay okay and nice we have new nice pattern and that's it this was five minutes about the Revit every day you can get information about the Revit by five minutes so see you soon